It's been three months since 30-year-old Karina Vetrano's body was found face down in the marshes by her father after having been brutally raped, beaten, and strangled to death in Howard Beach, Queens. There's been no arrest in this case. It's been months, but NYPD Chief of Detectives Robert Boyce has said that there will be one. I headed to Howard Beach for an interview with her father, Philip, and we sat on the steps of his home. Is the investigation still ongoing? It's, it's still ongoing. I think it's, it's as intense as it ever was. They're working every day. They're, they're breaking it. They're, they're working hard, especially uh, the lead detective doing a fantastic job. I don't think he's had, had a day off in, in months. Philip has been putting up even more posters of Karina all around the neighborhood. There are hundreds of leads that come in. I myself get four or five a day. And he says that even to this day, sometimes when he's putting up a flyer, someone will say, can you tell me well, what's this about? People don't watch the news. They watch Wheel of Fortune, you know? Yeah. They don't want, I, I know personally because I hand out flyers and people say, what's this about? Oh boy. And my reaction is like, you live under a rock? Right. How could you not know this? The whole world knows this. Philip has put up these massive posters all around the neighborhood. So you've been putting these, these banners everywhere around town? Just like that, places where they can't take them down. Right, right. Nobody's gonna get that down. The $200,000 reward that's being posted, and most of that is coming from the GoFundMe campaign that he started, he was gonna use that money for a scholarship, a memorial fund, but instead, all that money is going to go to catching the killer because that's all he cares about right now. Perseverance. Right. Tenacity. I will never stop. When I was speaking to Philip, I said, well, it looks like so far the person has gotten away with it. They did. They're so far. Up until today. But you don't know what today about. There's almost a half-life, you know. Karina gets murdered. Since then, three months, multiple murders, rapes, things that have to be investigated as well by the NYPD. Uh, Karina's father being this vigilant and trying to find her murderer, he might be the one to break this case because there's just been a lot that's going on in three months. At this point, I guess, what keeps him going? Wanting to find Karina's murderer. I mean, you don't even have to ask the question. When you meet him, you know what happened. And I give him credit for staying so optimistic because it's got to be draining on him. He's been to hell and back, you know. Just the fact that he's able to wake up with the attitude, today's a new day, today might be different than yesterday, is... It's unbelievable. It's incredible inspired strength that he's showing. All right, thanks.